Hey, well, we just finished another good week of training. We finished our second cycle to our periodization cycle for the postseason training program just this past weekend. So now we're going to get ready to move move into our third cycle and get ready for the cadet and, and junior national championships in Fargo. And also some of our athletes will be competing at the cadet and junior duels in June. So um, the things that we're going to be doing now moving forward are going to be focusing on, on some competition, tightening things up, some mat strategy, uh, where the previous two we did a lot more basic base building, um, some good fundamental skills, tried to develop a couple areas for our guys to move forward. Now we're going to start taking those steps to actually move forward. So um, I'm excited about this next, next cycle because we're going to add a couple new things. We have our victory tour that happens next week. We go to some different places across the state, um, this part of the state, and just bring victory to places that, that aren't able to come to victory. And we're also going to have a couple weekend camps where we're going to bring some athletes in from across the state. We're going to do a couple troubleshooting um, practices, but also have some matches, live matches with referees, the whole thing. And um, it's going to be a good evaluation process. It'll be low pressure. You know, we won't videotape, post any results. It's going to be something that I can sit back and, and the coaches that come in can sit back and, and really just evaluate where the athletes are so that we can begin to move forward and, um, you know, get an idea to make sure that things we're working on are actually actually working to, to help improve each athlete. So um, we're going to have three of them. We're going to call them the Accelerate Camps, and we're bringing athletes in, and we're going to wrestle matches on a Friday and a Saturday. The first one is going to be May 27th through 28th. Then we have one in the first weekend of June, and then the first weekend in July as well. So we're pretty excited about those camps and the possibility that they're going to have. I've got some coaches across the state who are excited to bring some athletes up, and I think it's going to be a really positive, positive um, new look to our, our postseason training program. So then, uh, then the, the other thing that we have going on this week, I'm really excited for this week, Friday night we're going to have the Grand Hullabaloo. It's going to be our fourth year of this event. It's a youth level event. The kids come in and we eat some pizza and play dodgeball and soccer on the mats. And uh, last year we did a minute to win it sort of thing where we did different competitions. And it's just a blast. The kids come in and they expect to stay up all night. You know, it's a lock-in. and. Um, Nobody ever has made it, so we wear them out, and they end up falling asleep. We put a movie on the projector, and it's it's a ton of fun. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope that um, you know that those those youth athletes who are thinking about victory, or even just want to come and hang out, you don't have to be a wrestler, and it, it's just going to be a ton of fun. I think that it's a great introduction into what we do and our you know kind of our quirky style. And and there's no wrestling in this event at all, and it's just a lot of fun and games. So we love to have fun here. So. Um, I love I love the the dodgeball sort of thing with these little guys, but you know we also have fun when it comes to training too. So that's what I'm looking forward to this the third the third session to our cycle here. We've got our our um, high school athletes are going to be moving forward and starting to focus on some competitions, and that's the fun part of training too. So we're really excited.